Are you ready for some wrestling? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. We're here for your WWE SmackDown 3rd of November 2023. SmackDown Review. And uh, yeah, of course, this show was taped. I already recently talked about, well, I say recently, last week, I talked about the spoilers for this show. So I don't really want to bore people and, and pretend that we watched this show in great detail, but nonetheless, we still review it, don't we? Now, we've already discussed a lot of what's happened on this show, but let's just talk about the show. And let's get into it before Crown Jewel starts, because I'm as I'm recording this, Crown Jewel actually starts in 37 minutes. It's a very busy day in the world of YouTube here for what I've got to do here on this channel. But let's talk about it and let's get stuck straight into it here as we enter the final two months of the wrestling year. We kick off the show with Roman Reigns and LA Knight. LA Knight comes out. Let me talk to you. Talks about 1200 days. The big dog has held the belt. You know what's more impressive? How quickly 1,200 days can come to an end. Uh, Roman Reigns comes out, blah, 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 cinema. What do they call it? What do these kids call it these days? Cinema. Cinema. I mean, it's an all right segment between these two. I mean, it's almost like you can tell it's taped. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, we'll just get them for something. But he's LA Knight says, you're going to hear the new, new WWE champion come Saturday. L A Knight. Looking forward to the match. It's the only thing I'm looking forward to. It's going to be all right to see LA Knight in a proper main event, because he, he does deserve it, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, with Kevin Owens taking on Austin Fury, Austin Fury loses this match. Kevin Owens wins. Is it really a surprise? We then have uh, Kathy Kelly backstage with Bianca Belair. Kathy Kelly just looks better we, every week, man. Honestly, she was wearing like a green dress here. She put it up on Twitter. Arr. No bad for big Kathy Kelly, I'll tell you that much. Uh, she's a lot of history with Bailey. As talented as Bailey is, doesn't matter because Bianca Belair is going to win. Um, and then to break up the brawl here between Bianca Belair and Damage Control, it's Nick Aldas and a returning Nick Al uh, no Kenny Dykstra. What is Kenny Dykstra doing on this show? Big Kenny, like I mean, big fucking Kenny Dykstra, just appearing at the woodwork on this show. Absolutely insane. But here is what it is and. It's always a rare laugh when you see these guys. It was weird when we seen them a couple of years ago with the uh, the Return of the Spirit Squad. I know it's mad. I say the Return of the Spirit Squad. When did they... they that was during the... That's like seven, eight years ago. Because Is that not fucking scary that that is actually that long ago? I think it is. I think it's fucking... Absolutely um bizarre, to be honest. But uh, it is what it is, and we've got to deal with it. We've got to deal with it, big man. We've absolutely... Got to deal with it here on this show. And uh, yeah, Kenny Dykstra breaking up this brawl. Should probably just leave it at that. I've talked enough pish. Having a Logan Paul then runs backstage into the Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. He wants to remain, you know, humble, normal. Before he knocks out Rey Mysterio at Crown Jewel, Lashley's like, ah, you know, if you want to discuss business, big man, we're here. We are here. Then we have Charlotte Flair and Shotzi Blackheart taking on Chelsea Green. And Piper Nevin, Charlotte Char Char Flair and Blackheart win. Fucking garbage, who cares, right? Up next segment of the show for me, we have John Cena and Solo Sokoa. Paul Heyman's out there, Solo Sokoa doesn't say much, and Cena's like, hold on here, we've been waiting a year for you to speak, and that's all you say. Cena's like, I could do this, but I have a voice. Fuck knows what was going on with um John Cena's voice tonight, but he calls him a second rate, uh, a bargain basement Taz ripoff. He says, so do me a solid soul. Tape your thumb up extra tight. Because the only place of getting stuck up tomorrow is straight up your ass. Yeah, that's about 90 seconds. John. John still has it, even though he's got no voice whatsoever. Big John Cena, man. You, you, you cannot dispute how great Big John is. Uh, Nick Aldas then confronts Bailey backstage. And Damage Control are going to be barred from tonight's main event. Why is this main event, man? Honestly, we then have Pretty Deadly against the Brawling Brutes in a Donny Brook match. Pretty deadly win. Nick Algas then has a conversation with uh, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman's like, oh, LA Knight's going to need a lot of medical attention. I've been around Simone's for a long time. And he's like, tomorrow is going to be the most savage first of Roman Reigns we will ever see. Load of pish. We then have a weigh-in between Logan Paul and Rey Mysterio. Logan Paul weighs in at 213 pounds. Well, Rey Mysterio weighs in at 175. So I weigh more than Rey Mysterio, folks. Not that it's hard. I mean, Rey Mysterio's a midget. Not quite as much as Logan Paul, but here, close enough to Logan Paul. Is it probably, I'm near enough closer to Logan Paul than I am, right? Because I'm a big fat bastard. Then it's main event time. Bianca Belair defeats Bailey 
I don't really want to talk too much about this, guys, but that is your SmackDown review. It is shorter than normal troops, but that's what we're going to leave you with. Yeah, we're going to give this show, give it a 2 out of 10. Crown Jewel kicks off in half an hour. I'll be there. Will you?